Hey everyone, this is Edwin Overa from Edwin Overa Dance and Creative Services. And in this particular interview session, I'm interviewing my son, Ilya Soleil, and he's kind of copycatting me right now. Um, basically, what we're doing is we're waiting outside from the Trader Joe's in Brookfield. <laughs> and Motor Joe's. And uh, I, I wanted to just get a take on his point of view from what I'm doing. Okay, Ilya, so. What do you think of Papa dancing? Uh, awesome. <laughs> that means awesome. What, 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 why, why would you combine those words, awesome um, and awesome? Uh, because it's so cool and it's going to make me throw up. That makes that what it is. That's what it really is. Um, I don't understand that last part, but whatever. <laughs> throw, it makes me, it's going to make me throw up. Oh, you're going to be that excited? <clears throat> huh? Yeah. Ilya, do you remember when Papa was dancing on stage? Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember that you were performing on stage? Oh, yeah. Where? Naked. Where? Yeah, where was this at? I don't know. It was in Boston. Boston, Boston. Yeah, so this is like, I think, 2000 and, mm. 2010. Two no, 2011, <laughs> right around there, we took Ilya on stage to perform in Boston, and it was a wonderful little crossing that we did. And people ran out all, uh, naked. I don't think that last part is correct about kids or people running out naked. <laughs> was I running out naked and you were a cow? Yeah, I, I was in a cow costume and I think Mama and you were chasing me with spoons and ladles. Anyway, what are ladles? Ladles is something that you use the, the scoop to get soup. It's like that, it's the long spoon that's curved, has a little, has a little pop, like a. Hold it. Yeah, they, uh, okay, you got it. <laughs> anyway, um, Ilya. Ilya, <laughs> today, right when we were at the uh, Brookfield um, Trader Joe, you were dancing inside the the Trader Joe. So, yeah. why were you shaking your booty like crazy? Because I was so excited because of the music. You enjoyed the music, huh? Yeah. How does the, how does the music feel to you when you're? Uh, really good. Yeah, but what does it make you want to do? A dance and prance and shake your my butt. <laughs> Dance, prance, and shake his butt. I, I, that's a good one. That's a good one. Elia, um, if you could to learn, if you could learn a style of dancing, what would you like to learn? Uh, hot box, uh, hot box dancing. Hot box dancing. Are you talking about the dancing, the the tap dancing? So, it, so in reference, Elia's talking about a performance, a production I just did for Cedarburg High School. We did the guys and dolls. It was um. It was wonderful. And there were two different choreographers, myself and another woman named Nicole. And Nicole did all the hot box dancers, like tap dance routines, which was incredible. Um, and the beautiful thing about Elia watching this show is that it's, it was his first time sitting through a, a full no, evening I... production of a musical. Normally he gets a little antsy or the lights get a little funny. But he did a, you did an awesome job, didn't you? And you liked the hot box dancers? Yeah. Did you like the girls or you just liked the dancing? Uh, girls and the dancing. He liked them both. <laughs> and I like keys in my face. Oh, never mind. I don't know about that part. Keys in the face. Okay, Elia. Um, what? When Papa has to leave for work, when I travel places, how does that make you feel? Horrible. Why? Because you're gone forever. It feels like forever. Papa's gone that long? Yeah. But what do we do to, to, to make up for Papa being gone? Uh, we we call on Skype. And what else? And we and you bring me presents. And? And you bring me hot box dancing. <laughs> I don't bring him the hot box dancing. But I do do a lot of Skype, a lot of phone calls, um, send him messages. Uh, even if that means I have to send him a text internationally, I will. It just let, it's just it's just lets these guys know that Papa cares for them and that even though I'm gone in another country, another place, and I'm Papa, doing work. when can we listen to it? We'll listen to it when we get home. Papa will make a quick edit. This this will be Saturday's interview. Interviewing Elia Soleil, Papa's son. The great and glorious son. Huh? Yeah. Not Vivian, because Vivian right now is a little terror and she's... <laughs> uh, Elia. Um, Elia, so what are, what are some things that you like to do at home? Uh, play Legos a lot and... And watch movies. Uh, repeat that. Repeat that first part because they didn't uh, hear. Playing Legos and doing hot box dancing. Just kidding. No, just kidding. No, watching movies. What's your favorite? 
uh, the Star Wars and take it off pants. <laughs> as you can, as you can hear by the tone of my son's voice, he has a a great sense of humor, <laughs> and um, I wonder where he gets it from. Maybe from his mom. Nah, <laughs> he doesn't get it from mama. He gets it from me. Um, okay, Ilya, if if you could, if you could be something in the like when you grow up, what would you like to be? Uh, uh, a paleontologist. A what? A paleontologist. Those guys that study dinosaurs. That's what you want to be? Yeah. And where are you going to do that? Uh, New York. What's in New York that you're going to find dinosaurs in New York? You're going to find the dinosaurs in the museum, but not... Where... Uh, in deserts I might find. In deserts and where else? Uh, centipedes. Yeah. If I... Little white things might be a whole dinosaur. Really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. If, Ilya, um, you know how sometimes Papa has to go to New York? Did you like your time being in New York and Connecticut? Yes! Why? Because it's so fun. What's fun about it? The Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa is in Dubai. Why would, there's, not, <laughs> there's no Burj Khalifa in Connecticut and New York. The Empire State Building. Well, let me tell you guys about the Empire State Building. Yulia thought it was a good idea to take my son to the Empire State Building. I literally lost my face. He tried to scratch me to death. <laughs> and he was totally afraid of going up. So we decided not to do it and refund our money. So I don't think we'll do the Empire State Building anytime soon. But we could do Sears Tower in Chicago. <laughs> huh? Or the Burj Khalifa if we go to Dubai. Or the Dominican Republic. The where? Dominican Republic. What do you want to go there for? A water park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ilya, what's one place you would like Papa to take you to? Uh, um, the Great Barrier Reef. And where's the Great Barrier Reef? Australia. Oh, yeah. And what else are we going to do in Australia? Uh, spank our bus and fly away. <laughs> Let's bang our butts and fly away. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea, and I don't think my wife would like that. Ilya. No! Jump on kangaroos in the pouches, then we'll be bobbing around everywhere. <laughs> it will be little joeys in the pouches, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Ilya, if, if, you, know, you, you know how you've seen Papa do a lot of performances? Um, and, and you see Papa training and like working on props and all this stuff. Yes! Um, would you like to learn how to do stilt walking? No way. I may fall on my head. So, I might be a stilt walker that has a stand on his head and walks on stilts uh, in the air. A head walker? Yeah. That's and stilts one. are attached to my hands. Oh, so you're walking on your hands and your head, huh? It, no, my feet. Oh. I'm going to be a tall dog walker. That's oh, dog my... walker. Oh, that's, so you have, you'll have stilts on your hands and your feet. Yeah. Okay, that sounds better, because the other one I was kind of confused, walking on your head. Um, what about the shadow puppetry stuff? How do you like that? Uh, good. It's well, gonna, it's gonna, it makes me feel like I'm going to barf a lot of times. No, no now, you're, now you're being a little sassy. Ilya, so you know how sometimes we play shadow stuff? And uh -huh. we do it, we do it like in, in the, you know, practice in the bathroom and in the living room. What's your favorite shadow thing? Uh, a Star Wars. The Star Wars, huh? What How it, much what? more time do we have on us? I don't know. How long do you want to keep talking for? Well, I want to end. Okay, say thank you everyone for listening. Thank you everyone for listening and Marky Gar. What? Marky Gar. What's Marky Gar? I just made that up. <laughs> That's Marky Marky Gar. Okay, we're... welcome to the ER. Bye bye, Mr. ER Head. Woo woo. <laughs> So he's referencing the ER, the ER physical comedy. Um, about like four years ago, Roberto and I and another gentleman named Evan Adler and Anthony o Oliva, we all created this uh, ER physical comedy website and everything. And today, to, oh, hold on, Ilya, hold on. Yeah, well, um, we thanks for we spent ER yes. <laughs> <laughs> we spent a lot of time, uh, heart, passion, soul, everything invested into it. And, you know, we just took a break from it. I, just because all of us lived in different places around the world. Can but, I, can I but, do that? But there's a special place. Welcome to the Meat Mar! Uh, that, woo, woo. There's a very special place, I feel, uh, ah, in my time as a... That was all done. 
Yeah, it is almost done. I'm just letting people know Mama's about the Mama's already inter- coming. Well, that means that we have to be done since Mama's um, arriving. Let's say goodbye, everyone. Bye, Mr. E.R. Head. Okay, goodbye, and we'll talk to you soon. Uh, and stay tuned for next week's uh, Saturday mm-hmm. session. Hello everyone, this is Edwin Overa from Edwin Overa Dance and Creative Services. In this particular Friday session, I'm going to be talking about five important reasons why you should document your work as a freelance dancer. Well, here we go. Number one, it's going to help you when you're updating your website or any of your social media content. Like for example, I did a project recently with the Milwaukee Jewish Day School doing some shadow dancing time stuff. Um, it shows other people who are watching and supporting my work as my fans, friends, family. It shows them that, you know, as a freelance dancer, I do all this physical stuff, but then there's also this other component, which is a storytelling, puppetry, prop play. So it shows another side of me to my fans and friends and other businesses that are watching what I'm doing. So again, updating your content online. Uh, number two, it's it's a great way for you to have materials when you are submitting an application or... Um, trying to get hired by a nonprofit or for profit, for example, in school program or after school arts program. A lot of times they want to see what you've done over the last couple years to see if you're a great match, first of all, with the organization or with what they're um, doing on site or off site with, um, with their programs. Uh, some of the programs that I've done in the past have been like kids' yoga classes. Um, and what I've done is I've for those particular things is I've collected quite a few of uh, images and drawings that these students have done during times of reflection when we did like meditation using mandalas and the kids create the mandalas for themselves or um, having them write down in their journal things that they've experienced just being a part of that whole 10 week program um, because when you're working with nonprofits a lot of times the documentation which you use or you generate in those classes help them get grants and 